thought he was coming. Boys, we finally got Thundercloud. Yeah, but it took us three weeks before we did. California, get your saddle and bridle, will you? He'll be all right now. He just hadn't been ridden for a while. He sure is full of pep. He sure is. The way you flew over that rope back there, you'd think he'd been eating bird seed. Well, it's more than we've been getting lately. I ain't had a decent meal for so long, my ribs is busting right out of my skin. Lucky. Poor California. He's in a bad way, Hoppy. Looks like he swallowed a washboard. Yeah. And look at that Adam's apple bob up and down. That's a sure sign of acute hepatitis. You don't mean that, do you? Yeah. Well, that's dangerous, ain't it? Why, well, certainly it's dangerous. California, I hate to do this, but rather than see you suffer and waste away, I... Now, hold on, Hoppy, I ain't suffering. Well, I'm as fit as a fiddle. Work it. <laughs> ah, you didn't fool me. You're joking all the time, ain't you? <laughs> Come on, we go back and get your horse and head for town. understand why your father isn't here to meet us. Dad's probably so busy with his horses he's forgotten we were coming home. Can you get a rig for us to drive to the ranch? I sure can, Miss Grant. I'll take care of that right away. I wish we could have stayed in New York and never had to come back here. Now, 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 don't talk like that. After all, the ranch is home. those men are leading. What about him? Doesn't he look like Thundercloud? I think you're right, Susan. Where are you going? Make sure. Better one of the staggers first. Come on, Hoppy. Sure, Hoppy. There's a restaurant over there. Restaurant? Yeah. What about it? Nothing. <laughs> Howdy, miss. You certainly have a way with the ladies, Johnny. Wonder what's the matter with her. I didn't notice anything the matter with her. <laughs> <laughs> Look for it to be ready in just a minute. Never mind that now. I need some help. What's the trouble? Three men just rode up with a black stallion. Dad has always refused to sell. Rusters, huh? Yes, they've stolen him. Get me a gun. You better go back to the depot. There might be some shooting. 
What's up, Jerry? Of course, Steve. Give me a hand. Let's crawl. Sure will. I'll get my scatter going. Where are they? Right over here. Follow me. All right. Let's go. Throw up your hands. We got you covered. Would you mind telling me what this is all about? We're taking you three wrestlers into custody for stealing my dad's stallion. You mean... Oh, you think we're horse thieves, huh? I'm positive of it. Oh, you've got us all wrong. I... I don't care to hear any lies. Dad will know what to do with these men. We'll take them along with us. Just as you say, Miss Grant. But don't you think we ought to hear what they have to say first? I know what I'm doing. These men are definitely the criminal type. Criminal type? Get well, their gun. Dog gone. That filly sure hates herself. I'd like to take her across my knee and give her a good time. Ah, oh, she's just feeling her ropes. That's a fine looking animal, Grant. I hope you have as much success with the Arabians. I hope so too, Major. I've never tried to raise any Arabians before, but I... Why, that's Thundercloud. Isn't that your wife and Susan? Good grief, I'd forgotten they were returning today. Will you excuse me while I apologize for not meeting them? Why, certainly. There's your father now. Charles! Why didn't you come yes. and meet us? We've got Thundercloud and the men who stole him. They were in Gila Bend. They were going to take him away. Wait till Buck Peters hears about this, Hoppy. He'll die laughing. <laughs> <laughs> he probably will. You know these men, Dad? Know them? Why, I borrowed them from a friend of mine up north to help track down Thundercloud after he jumped his corral and gone wild. <laughs> I hope you forgive this silly little mistake, boys. That's all right, ma'am. We kind of enjoy it. Thank you. Pete! Take Thundercloud, turn them out in the new corral. Give them back their guns. I'm sorry you boys had all this trouble. That's quite all right, Mr. Grant. Come on, Bill, let's go. I want to apologize for Susan, Hoppy. She was a very sweet girl, but ever since she returned from her first visit east, she's been willful and headstrong. Well, that should be easy enough to cure, Grant. Sure, all she needs is a good spanking, like I used to get. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but, well, somehow I've never had the heart to lay my hands on her. I can understand that. Now, when you boys get cleaned up, I want you to meet an old friend of mine, a Major Crawford of the Army Remount Service. Be right with you. I fell out, hear that old coyote call. The moon's yellow, and I'm riding for a fall. There's a girl waiting, dressed in a Mexican shawl. So let's get going, cause I'm riding for a fall. Now that roundup days are over, and the doggies are in the corral. Old paint can go for clover while I go for that yellow-haired gal. My heart's singing, sort of a maiden time call. So let's get going, cause I'm riding for a fall. And as I said, Hoppy, I've been cooperating with the Army in the building up of the cavalry stud. And I've now decided to go to Arabia to buy several horses. I want you and your friends to come along and help me bring them back. I don't know just how you're going to do it. When I've heard of those Arabs, they'd rather part with an arm than a horse. 
That's right, Hoppy, but Major Crawford is taking care of that. Well, I think I can pave the way with a letter to a Bedouin chief whom I met several years ago. You're not angry, are you? Why don't you tell me you and the others were working for Father instead of letting me make a fool of myself? Well, Hoppy tried to, miss, but you wouldn't listen. Go away. You annoy me. You know what I think? I don't care what you think. Now, will you please go away? I think you're the nastiest, bad-tempered, high and mighty girl I ever run into. You can't talk to me like that, I'll... What's more, if I was your father, I'd take you across my knee and give you a good paddle, and where do you the most good? You wouldn't dare! All right, we're with you. I had hoped you'd say that. <laughs> Well, well, what's going on around here? Oh, Daddy, he spanked me! He did, eh? You better go into the house, Susan. You're riding hurt on the wrong range, Johnny. Young man, I'm going to... <laughs> Thanks, my boy. I hope you paddled her good and hard. <laughs> Arabia! Yeah. Say, Hoppy, ain't that the place where them muscle dancers come from? Muscle dancers? Yeah, you know. <laughs> Doggone name oh. gals that go. California, aren't you ashamed of yourself? A man of your age carrying on like that. Well, doggone it. I'm just trying to tell you how them gals... Uh, well, how they what? Well, you know. How they, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Hey, speaking of Arabia and forgetting the dance, don't you think that maybe that sheik would be a little easier to deal with if we took him a present of some kind? Boy, that's an excellent idea. What would you suggest? Oh, I don't know. Uh, being a horseman, maybe one of those Palomino studs would do the trick. Yeah, and a silver mounted outfit to go along with him. Yeah. Well, now, that's not a bad idea. I'll leave the whole thing in your hands, Hoppy. Oh, that's fine. I'm worried about Susan, Charles. She's all excited about going to Arabia, and well, I... Well, darling, haven't you told her that I'm not taking either of you along? No, not yet. I don't dare to tell her that... Oh, the... Dad, I'm so thrilled. I've always wanted to see a sheik. When are we leaving? I'm not taking you or your mother, Susan. There's no telling what we might encounter on the desert. But, Dad, I... You're not going. That's final. That's final. I won't pay any more than five dollars. But, madam, it's a very, very fine watch of death. Especially for death. You can't find any more like it. That's final. <laughs> Just a chip off the old block, sweetheart. Well, shall we walk back to the hotel, or do you want to do any more shopping? You want to shop some more, Jim? I'd just as soon go back to the hotel. All right. Madam, what's the matter this one? Wonderful of you to show us around. Think nothing of it, my dear. I enjoy doing it. Will you join us in a drink, Miss Carrington? Thank you so much, but I'd like to go up first and see if my brother Nicky has returned. We're all very anxious to meet him. I hope you like him. Sit here, Jay. <laughs> Nicky, in two weeks we'll have enough money to pay our bills. And enjoy life once again. So, you suckers are right for retrieving, eh? They swallowed hook, line, and sinker. Come on, you're going to meet them. <laughs> As my brother. And have I your permission, my dear, to make love to the daughter? Of course you have. But don't forget, you are my husband. Don't he ever drink anything but coffee in Arabia, Charles? <laughs> there he is, mother. Isn't he handsome? This is Nicky. Madame. Charles. Monsieur. You do. Mademoiselle.
Your sister has been telling us some perfectly thrilling things about you. <laughs> Marie always exaggerates whatever I am concerned. Now, Nicky, here I've been telling them all about your adventures while buying horses, and now you... All right, my dear sister, you win. I'm a big, brave hero. <laughs> <laughs> Will you uh, have some coffee? Thank yes, you. Yes, thank you. Oh, waiter, uh, some coffee, please. Monsieur, I understand you're here to purchase some blooded Arabian stock. Arrangements have been made with the Sheik Suleiman Ibn Marshad. In fact, my men are on their way to his camp now. Joseph? Yes, Appendi. How much farther we got to go? Another night and day, Appendi. Doggone, it's hot enough to fry a man's brains. Well, in that case, you haven't got much to worry about. No, oh, I guess not. Eh, what's that? <laughs> Come on, give me some water. <laughs> Afendi, he gives thanks for driving away the evil one and prays that Allah, the compassionate, the merciful, smile on you forever. Thank you. He fears another attack after we leave and begs that we escort him to their destination. All right, Joseph, tell him we will and ask him where he's going. Now, Afend Rakin. نعم يا أفندي مسافين على قبيلة الشيخ سليمان. أفندي، they are also traveling to the camp of the Sheikh Suleiman. أجد الزوبة على خرب كل شيء علينا أفندي خرب. He says they were with a large camel train, but a fierce and sudden storm overcame them and they were separated from the others. Say that must have been the storm that buried me right up to my neck in sand. I'll bet he understood everything you said. Uh, say tell him. <laughs> tell him nothing. Just tell him be ready to leave in ten minutes. Kuno ala hadar.
I will tell Sidi the Sheik you are here. What? Tlat Rijal American Yaridum Mushahidan Sidi. Taib. Manikun. He looks like that engine friend of ours back home, Lone Eagle. Wonder where he keeps his hair. Afendi, His Excellency, Sidi the Sheik, bids you welcome and gives you leave to approach. Thank you. Will you tell Ali to get the Palomino ready? Yes, Afendi. Well, tell him Moderna, why he signed. Assalamu alaikum, Sidi Sheik. Walaikum ya salam. Ahlan was ahlan. Major Crawford sends you this letter. It'll explain who we are and why we're here. Fadalu. He wishes you to be seated. Grant would like you to accept this Palomino stallion as a token of his friendship. Al Hisan huwa hadiyat min Afendi Grant. He also sends you these gifts. Wa aidan huda hadiyat min Afendi. This was very generous of Afendi Grant. Well, you speak American as good as we do. <laughs> as a youth, I was educated in England. Rashid. Felhisan. Won't you please come in? Thank you. Please be seated. Aishkarak, Sidi. You are welcome. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Tell me, where did you learn to speak Arabic? Oh, I just picked up a few words out of a little book I bought. Is this yours? Yes, I, I don't know why I brought it along. I... You must be quite an important person in your country. Oh, no, I'm just a county deputy sheriff when I'm not riding the range. In this country, a sharif is a sheikh of high rank. Happy? That ought to make you the sheikh of Buffalo Buttes. <laughs> sure, now all you need is a harem. And yeah, and I suppose you want to pick the girls for me, huh? <laughs> well, I hadn't thought of that, but it's not a bad idea. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Tell me, how is my good friend Crawford? It has been years since we last met. Oh, he was fine when we left home, but, uh, well, he was kind of anxious about the horses we were sent here to buy for Mr. Grant. I know. He explained in his letter why he needed them. However, we'll discuss that later. Right. For the present, you shall be my honored guests. They'll be dancing, music, feasting. Feasting? Yes. You mean eating? Yes. <laughs> oh, God, am I going to make up for lost time? <laughs> Fadalo, Fadalo.
Boy, that girl sure can dance, can't she? Uh, who did? Who did what? I don't know who did. Don't bother me. Didn't I tell you they had them dancing gals, huh? <laughs> She's a pimp. I don't like to rush you, City Sheik, but uh, it's about time we were getting started back. I oh, know. My... You wish to speak of the horses. I am sorry, my friend. But they are my children. I cannot bring myself to sell any of them. I don't like to mention money, uh, C.D. Sheik, but uh, would $50,000 help you change your mind about the horses? I'm sorry. Well, what do you know about that? Here he's been so nice and friendly, I didn't think we was going to have any trouble at all getting those horses. Neither did I. Well, I guess there's nothing we can do about it. Copy. For once in my life, I'm really full. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I've got a look here, C.D. Sheik. I'm sorry we couldn't make a deal for the horses, but we do want to thank you for your hospitality. It was a pleasure to have you as my guests. And now, before you leave, I have a little surprise for you. Uh-oh. I'll bet he's going to show us the harem. My friend, these children of mine are named Mameluke. And Sheba, take them with the blessings of Allah to FND Grant. But I... I thought you said you wouldn't... Oh, but I'm not selling my children. They are a gift. Take them, and may they prove worthy of their heritage. Ali, you said... Yes, sir. I... I don't know how to thank you. I... Well, if you I ever don't... need any help around here, well, I'll just send us a cable and we'll just come around it. Yeah, and we'll bring the whole bar 20 with us. Thank you, FND. And should the occasion ever arise, you'll find me and my people at your service. We of the desert never forget those who help us at the risk of their own lives. Oh, but if you were thanking us for helping those camel men, that was nothing. We just happened to be handy. Sure, we're nothing at all. Why, back home, we're always tangling with cattle rustlers and such <laughs> like. Apka la hayir, imshi beselama. Goodbye, and go in peace. Thank you, sir. I wish you weren't going, Charles. You'll be perfectly safe, Mrs. Grant. Tell him he's one of the best guys in the country. Nicky also knows the desert thoroughly. Now, don't worry, Jane. Goodbye and take care of yourself. Goodbye, Charles. Bye. Come on. Bye. Bye. Take us through the gardens. Now, oh, Mother, where can your father be? Why, they've been well, gone no for and worrying yourself sick. Dad and Nicky will return any time now. Safe and sound. Susan is right. There's nothing to be alarmed about. What you need is some rest, something to calm your nerves. Now you come and lie down. Oh, uh, Yusuf, you and Ali take good care of those horses and see that nothing happens to them. On my head and on my life, be it. We'd better get over to the hotel where the grants are common.
Fortune teller, are you? I just left of my fortune told. The, the, look. There. What happened to California? I don't know. Every time we leave him alone, he gets into trouble. Come on. Hoppy, I was just having my palm told. Uh, I mean, my fortune read when a great big Arab decided he'd carve his initials in my gizzard. Well, wait, he's still after me. There. Wait a minute, wait a just minute. Just a minute, mister. What's he been doing? Oh, I caught him fooling around with my best girl. Oh. So I thought I'd throw a scare into him. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your hat. You mean you ain't mad at me? Well, doggone. You're not a native, are you? You talk just like we do. Well, why shouldn't I? I was born in Waukegan. I'll be seeing you. Be seeing you. It's a fine thing. First, it's muscle dancing. Now, it's fooling around with women. Are you ever going to grow up? I hope not, Hoppy. <laughs> <laughs> There's a restaurant. I'm going to the hotel. You don't want to sit a restaurant. See when you get back. He's gone. Let's get into more trouble, huh? <laughs> Excuse me. I can get into more. Now then, you sleep a little. That'll do you a world of good. Answer the door. Yes, Mother. Nicky! Oh, Nicky, you've been hurt! Where's Charles? What happened? Please, oh. let me sit down. I... You can go. Get some brandy, quick. Yes. But what's happened? Where's my husband? I'm afraid I have some bad news for you, Mrs. Grant. You see... He isn't. He's not. No, not that. Your husband is alive, but he's been held by a raiding band of Arabs. Oh. The guide Salim led us into a trap. Oh, Hoppy, I'm so glad you're back. Charles has yes, been... Yes, I know, Mrs. Grant. What happened after you were captured? They tortured us until Mr. Grant finally agreed to pay the $50,000 the chief demanded. 
50,000. Have you any idea what tribe they belong to? No, I haven't. There might have been Kalkas tribe, but I'm not positive. Where is the money supposed to be paid over? Uh, the Witi Oasis, three days south of here. I was told a certain Abdul would contact me there. Do you mind telling me what you and Mr. Grant were doing out in the desert? Why, no. We were visiting some of the tribes and looking over their horses. You're Hopalong Cassidy, aren't you? Why, yes. I'm Marie Ritza. That's my brother, Nicky. Here is a letter your husband wrote, asking that you cable his bank for the money. Oh, Hoppy, what am I to do? What do you mean, Miss Grant? They must have tortured Charles so badly that he couldn't even think when he wrote this letter. But I still don't understand. It wouldn't do any good for me to cable his bank. The account is in Charles' name. Oh. Well, keep your chin up, Mrs. Grant. I still have the money you gave me. Thank heaven for that. I'll take that money, Mr. Cassidy. Father must be released as soon as possible. Well, I agree with you there, Miss Susan, but that money isn't going to be turned over unless we have to. The chief warned we will never see Grant alive if the authorities were informed. That won't be necessary. I have other ideas. Mrs. Grant, do you mind if I handle this in my own way? You've no right to ask Mother that. Dad's life is in danger, and just because you have ideas, that doesn't seem to matter. That'll do, Susan. I'll trust you to do the right thing, Hoppy. Thank you, Mrs. Grant. Did you bring Sir Jim back with you? Yes. I left him at the edge of the town when I rode in. Why? Find him. Tell him to dig up some men and follow Cassidy until they get the money. Marie, it will be a pleasure. About the 20th time you've done that, California. What's the matter with you? I don't know, Johnny, but I keep getting a feeling that someone's eyes are born into the back of my neck. Avendi! Avendi! We are being attacked! California, you and Yasser ride ahead to lead them on. Johnny and I'll ride around the back of back of this whole business. Oh, that's just your suspicious nature. Maybe so. Well, I guess they won't bother us anymore. Let's go. Susan, you look upset. What's the matter, my dear? I just had another quarrel with Mother. Oh, never mind, my dear. It will pass away. I simply can't understand this sudden rift between you and your mother. She won't admit making a mistake, trusting Cassidy with father's life. Yes, that was a mistake. I don't like to alarm you, my dear Suzanne, 
But I'm afraid if Cassidy delays of paying those Arabs the money, well, anything may happen. That's what I told Mother. There's nothing we can do now except wait and hope. Isn't there someone back home you could cable to for some money? I'm afraid not. I don't... Yes, there is someone. Major Crawford. The army officer you told us about. Yes. He might not have that much money, but when he knows of Dad's predicament, I'm sure he'll raise it somewhere. That is wonderful. I'm so glad for you, Susan. Oh, Susan. Yes. I wouldn't tell my mother about you if I were you. She might not be pleased. Oh, I don't intend to. I'll get Major Crawford's address and then we'll send him a cable. That's good. Assalamu alaikum, Sharif Hopi. Wassalamu alaikum, Sidi Sheik. This certainly is a surprise. I thought you'd be on your way home by now. Well, we should have been, but something happened. We need a little information. Oh? Uh, you boys run along and have some fun. Sure. Come on, Johnny. But don't get into trouble. How can I have fun without getting into trouble? Come, sit down, my friend, and tell me what you wish to know. Thank you. What's that thing? What's that thing? He's a snake charmer. He's going to play music and snakes come out of that thing. <laughs> no, no, Effendi. That is a water-smoking pipe. Uh, water-smoking pipe? Why don't he smoke tobacco? <laughs> there is tobacco here on the top. Well, so it is. There it is, right there, Johnny. Ain't yeah. that something, Maru? Sure is. Try it, Effendi. It is very mild. Oh, it's... Go ahead, try it. Hey, you try it, Johnny. No, uh, you try it. Well, I'll try it. How's it taste? Well, <coughs> it ain't bad. Kind of different. I'll take snakes. <laughs> 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 I'm not sure which of these men might have captured Grant, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was the work of Farhan al Kader. Al Kader? Who is he? A half breed dog of a slave trader, a thief and a murderer. May the jackals defile his grave. He's a nice fellow. I take it you don't care much for him. No more than I'd care for the plague. I have sworn by the blade of my sword that if he ever dares enter my domain, I shall make a sudden end to him. And I can't say that I blame you. Where can I locate this gent? His camp is not far from here. It is over there. On the other side of Jebel Twaik. Ah, we'll go over and pay him a visit. Oh, but that will be dangerous going by yourselves. A jammer of my best fighting men and I will accompany you. But that wouldn't be advisable. You see, if Grant is there, I wouldn't want to risk him being killed or hurt in a fight. Very well, my friend. But if in three days' time you and your friends do not return, I shall hunt down this Farhan el Kader and every last one of his cutthroats. <laughs> Thank you, Sidi Sheikh. You're welcome, Sidi Sheri. I got it. This Major Crawford certainly believes in action. Only 24 hours and here you have the money. Oh, I'm so thrilled. Now we can arrange for father's release. But remember, leave a note for your mother and tell her you've gone on a trip with us. All right. Why didn't you talk her out of handing over the money herself? Because, dear Nikki, like Cassidy, I had other ideas. When Papa sees daughter, maybe he'll remember a friend or two. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> well, Nicky, I think we better start playing prisoners again. We've been away from Papa and Susan long enough. <laughs> You needn't be so rough, you big brute. What did he say? Well, wouldn't he accept the money? He wants some more. Now, you have to be patient. Sit down, my dear. find out. Grant and a white girl are being held prisoner here. He does not know who she is. Did he say which tent she was in? Yes. The third one over there. Hold it. That hombre I conked is sure gonna wake up with a beautiful headache. Is Grant here? Yeah. Try to get another horse then wait for us. Yes, sir, Bendy. What do you want another horse for, Hoppy? You'll find out soon enough. Come on. $25,000. Well, I suppose there's nothing else we can do about it. How did you three get here? so I could get Dad released. She cabled Crawford and he sent her $50,000. Let's get out of here. Don't any of you move. Or this girl is done for. But, Marie... Keep still, you little fool. Nicky, get their guns. Rouse the camp. Shushara, what happened? Who are these men? Now, don't get excited, Baron. They're just three new guests of ours. And that's not all. They even brought the money to pay for their board. You're very clever. But it just so happens I live by my wits. And you better keep them sharpened, too, because this little game isn't over yet. Baron, you better watch this one. He's liable to get new ideas. Talauna. Lose your sin. Pray, honey. Ah. Mr. Grant, high on Geico's guards. Right. Come on, come on, hurry it up. We haven't got much time. All right, follow me and keep quiet. Which is for? 
Duran's tent. The big one over there. Did they get our horses? I'm not sure, Effendi. Mr. Grant, you and Susan go back to the draw with California and Yusuf and wait there. All right. If they got our horses, get them back and get three extra ones. Yes, Effendi. Said, this little game isn't over yet. You've got a good memory. Hold it! Drop that gun. All right, get up. Give me that. Give him the rest of it. Well, it looks like we got all the money. Now you're all going with us and quietly. Get going. I wish I'd known what they were going to do. I wouldn't have allowed them to risk their lives again. Ah, uh, shucks, you couldn't have stopped them, Mr. Grant. I'll be in Johnny and Marty set and finishing anything they start. Once they remember it. There they come now. Let's get ready to travel. Wait a minute. Oh. I'm sorry, Hoppy. Uh, it's too late now. We better get out of here before we have the whole camp after us. Come on. Here he goes! Here he goes! back, FND, and congratulations. I see your mission was highly successful. Thanks to you. Oh, C.D. Sheik, this is Mr. Grant and his daughter, Susan. She was also being held prisoner. Assalamu alaikum. Aklan, what's Aklan? I don't know how to express my appreciation for the horses, but if you'll oh, allow me... Oh, that is quite all right, Mr. Grant. Oh, that, uh, that's Nikki and Marie. Would you please see that they're turned over to the authorities? I will take care of that. Uh, would you take a little uh, tea or coffee while a tent is being arranged uh, for you? Highly welcome. Sure. Thank you Come with much. me, please. Did you have much trouble? Yes, we did. And I expect some more. How's that? Moran and these men are on our trail. I'll send out scouts immediately. If that dog's dinner is in my domain, I'll put an end to him quick. And by the way, uh, could you arrange to get word to Mrs. Grant that her husband and daughter are all right? Of course, immediately. You know, Johnny, I was an awful snob, wasn't I? 
<laughs> I'll say you were. Well you... well, you don't have to be so emphatic about it, do you? Well, you asked me, didn't you? And besides, I wasn't emphatic. You were. I wasn't. You were. I was not. I... <laughs> Shall we start all over again? Look, that Umbridge riding like he's going to a fire. Yeah, I'm not real. Eba huna hal, hetan. Se uruna kleisa. Wasn't that one of your scouts? Yes. Faran has not only dared to cross the borderline, but he's planning to attack our camp early in the morning. Oh. My scout managed to enter their camp last night and overheard some of Faran's men talking. There'll be an attack, my friend, but on his camp and not here. But wait a minute. That's going to cost the lives of a lot of your men, isn't it? El Mektub, Mektub. What is written is written. That's true, but... Uh... There must be some way that we can... Uh, say, I have an idea how we might lead Ferran and his men into a trap and smash them in a hurry. And what is that, my friend? A trick our Apache Indians sometimes use to surprise their enemies. They led the enemy to believe that everyone was asleep and that the camp was unguarded. to wait until you charge him from the front. That's right. And don't fire any shots from this side until then. I understand perfectly, Harvey. The men understand your instructions, Appendi. All right, fine. Good luck. Thanks, Harvey. Is everything all set? Just about. Get all the women and children out of the camp? Yes. They're in a wadi not far from here. Good. Miss Grant, she didn't like the bit. She wanted to take a hand in the fighting. <laughs> <laughs> she may get a chance later. I better see if there's any sign of her arm. Yes, Effendi.
make a drink for it. Good luck, he. He's going at me. All right, good luck to you. Come on. Time on the old bar 20. The bar 20? The bar. Hoppy, I'm homesick. So am I. Me too. Well, it won't be long now. Let's go. And tell Buck we're planning to visit him this fall. I know you'll be glad to hear that. Have you seen California? No, I haven't. I, uh, uh oh. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I was just showing them the desert doula. How am I doing? You're doing all right, but you missed your calling. How come? You should have been in a harem. <laughs> <laughs> 